What's the best way of treating acne scarring? It's a relatively unique aesthetic problem. When a patient suffers from acne, it is often a very distressing experience for them at the time because it's most common when people are young, they are still discovering who they are, developing their own identity and personality, and oh my God, I've got all of these spots, this is awful. And then the acne scarring comes along and it becomes a daily reminder of that really awful, painful period in your life. So from the patient's perspective, this isn't something you really want just improvement in. You really want to get rid of it so that, that you can just close the door in that chapter. From a doctor's perspective, we would love to be able to deliver that for you, but the reality is that it is impossible to remove. We can usually achieve incremental improvements, but it's usually through combining multiple treatments, multiple sessions of treatments. And the reality is that no matter how many treatments you do and how many things that you layer, you will always get improvement, but you will never get elimination. The most common types of scars are what we call atrophic scars. These are sometimes referred to as rolling scars or boxcar scars. These are where we've got the little indentations and pitting marks in the skin. And these type of scars tend to respond best to some form of laser resurfacing. When you're doing laser resurfacing for acne scarring, you can do the traditional full field ablation where you're taking off the entire surface of the skin. But when you do that, that limits the depth that you can go down to. You know, you can easily peel down to two, three, four hundred microns a push. But actually the depth of most acne scarring goes way deeper than that. And if you burn down to the bottom of the acne scars, you're going to be left with healing problems. So my approach that problem is to use something called fractional lasers, where we are only ablating a particular percentage of the skin surface. And by doing that, it means that we're able to penetrate much deeper, so we can get right down to 1,000 microns, 1,500 microns, and the skin will still be able to heal in a way that if you took it down that far with a full field ablation, you would have all sorts of healing problems, and it may not heal at all and end up with worse scarring. Sometimes where we have really deep scars, it can be helpful to add in some radio frequency microneedling. This allows us to go not only through the skin, but into the subcutaneous tissue to stimulate some tissue regeneration below the skin, as well as the tissue regeneration that we get from treating the skin itself with the laser. Another neat little trick that I sometimes like to do after a laser treatment is to use some filler injections into any atrophic areas to see if we can just pad them out a little bit. It doesn't always work amazingly because scar tissue is really quite tethered and it doesn't fill out in the same way that normal skin does. But actually, if you've softened the scar up first with some laser, you can sometimes get some nice, meaningful, additional improvement just by adding a little bit of filler below the surface of the skin. Occasionally, we do see another type of acne scarring called ice pick scars, which are like little holes that are carved out in the face. These are really difficult to treat. Generally, they don't respond well to lasers, fillers, or radio frequency. And the only thing that you can do for these little scars is to cut them out using a little punch excision. And when you do that, you are essentially replacing the little hole scar for a little flat white line of a scar. By doing that, you achieve a scar that is potentially more cosmetically manageable in that you can use some concealer to cover it in the way that you can use concealer to cover a, a hole in the face because that just tends to absorb the makeup and actually, if anything, the makeup can make these scars look worse rather than better. Treating acne scarring is tough. There are unfortunately no quick fixes and usually it is a journey that we go on with our patients over time achieving incremental improvements until we can hopefully get them to a place where they can look in the mirror and see past the scars. Any questions or suggestions for future content, please pop them in the comments section and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.